Well, hello to all of our frontline friends. What a different situation this is to be talking to you from our garden. And no doubt for you, watching and listening to this, you'll be uh, confined to your house as well. It's such a strange situation compared to how we normally have been able to t touch base with you and to work with you. Anyway, talk about a world turned upside down in such a short period of time. I think it's uh, certainly allowed us to change, uh, to learn how to function with the new changes that are underway. Certainly the keeping it distance and, uh, and not going out too much. It's an important part of the world that we live in now. And uh, so, of course, one of the things that has done, maybe for you as well, certainly given us an opportunity to do some jobs around our garden, around our house, some things that we've been thinking about and dreaming about doing. So certainly we've got the opportunity to, to do some of that right now. And uh, that actually is quite uh, satisfying. It's also, I think, given us an opportunity to see how we react to a situation like this and all of us are different all of us uh, uh, I, I guess approach things differently uh, in a time like this of course we've no, I've never seen a time like this but it's, um, it's certainly been interesting I know this notice for me that uh, that keeping my spirit buoyant uh, has been a very important part and actually I think it'll be a much more important part going forward because uh, I think there'll be there's plenty of news out there that speaks of uh, how dreadful all this is going to be. And I noticed that in the first couple of weeks of this, I was tending to spend uh, time watching the TV or having the TV on and being a bit mesmerised by all that was happening around the world. Um, sadly for me, uh, some of us are. are people that are very influenced by what they take in. So I've had to come to a realisation that if I spend too much time t taking in uh, that stuff, uh, then I find that, that I start to become negative or I start to start to look at the, at the problem side of life rather than, rather than the, the life part. And so I've needed to say, I, that didn't mean that I'm being, uh, that I'm cutting away from what is actually going on. I'm still aware of what's going on. I just don't need to take up a whole bunch of it uh, into, my, into my spirit because it just, just doesn't affect my, um, my outward working. It affects my inward working as well. And I want to uh, be buoyant. I want to have a buoyant spirit. I want to be a person that, uh, that continues to look at the bright side of life even though uh, things are looking quite problematic as we look forward into our, uh, what's going on around our, our nation and, uh, and our world. So that's just a little, a little thought. You might be a person that's a little like me. And so you might want to think about how much of this am I taking in. What about you, Jan? How has this affected you? Well, I think you and I are quite different and we often um, talk about that. I've really enjoyed the opportunity to do some catching up on things like uh, doing a lot of work with the lawyers for those of you who know that I had an accident two years ago so it's come at a wonderful time for me to be able to uh, spend time working with that. I'm still seeing lots of clients calling in and doing lots of online work uh, because of the anxiety levels yes. that is happening for a number of people and it's really great. I love the fact that I can help put a tool in their hand or refresh them with a tool regarding how to connect with God's empowering presence. But I think um, one of the um, words that's really been thinking about um, during this time, we, we're waiting, aren't we? We're all waiting yes. um, to know what's going to happen. Mm. And that mm. waiting and looking forward um, is great as long as we don't get discouraged in doing that. And I love the Hebrew word for waiting, which is actually talking about wrapping around like a vine, like oh, these trees out here. If we had a vine growing around, wrapping around, that would be the same root word for waiting. And for me, I've really taken on board that 
really wrapping myself around God in this particular season and knowing that there's some very practical things that I can do and, and encourage others. There's things like uh, having a good routine. I think this is really, really important. Mm. When we've got lots of time, it's so easy not to use the time well. But I think um, managing our time, another thing that I think is really important is humour. And I know some of you are on Facebook and some of you aren't, but when we're socially isolated, where do we find humour? And there's some very funny, funny things mm. on Facebook. You don't have to go into crappy stuff, but humour and laughter really creates a change in our, in our brain. And it helps us not to go to those ugly places, which we're all capable of doing and I certainly am capable of doing. Because the, the reality is we can't go back to where we were and we don't know what the future looks like. So it's in the waiting and there's that wonderful song that came out of Bethel about three years ago, Take Courage, My Soul. It's in the waiting and I'd encourage you to go and um, have a look in YouTube and see if you can find that song and, and Clinton Kelly and the team may have even had you singing that song. And it's almost like a prophetic song ready for us in this season. That's what I'm thinking. And and if I get stuck in thinking, well, what are all the prophets saying? Because, you know, God always speaks through the prophets. Yes, there's a certain degree of honesty and reality in that. But uncertainty and waiting, if I look at my own life, has always been before I go into a new season. And having to stay there and, and surrender to it, um, learning to live in, in the limits that we have and that I have and learning to find the wisdom of God in the midst of it all. So I think it's a pretty exciting time. We could go into what we're seeing across the earth spiritually, which is marvellous, but we're talking with you guys this yes, morning. Yes, yes. And, and that's, they're some of the things that I, I would suggest. Actually, we're very thrilled to, to talk with you too because we do feel very much part of um, Frontline's journey and it's been a wonderful experience for us, a great privilege for us to be able to get to know you uh, better and better as time goes on. And uh, so that is that that plays a big part in our heart and life and world as we uh, we make this video today. Uh, we all might want to say, you know, what's God doing in the midst of all this and what's happening? Uh, certainly, I do think that uh, that this is one of those situations where we're being where we're where the church is forced to to be a kingdom orientated, uh, have a kingdom orientation rather than a church orientation. We our, our church involvement is uh, is such a wonderful part of our world, and certainly we we appreciate that as well. But we also realise that we have a, a great opportunity here to be able to reach out beyond uh, our uh, the normal life that we have lived. Yeah. And I think, in some ways, God has brought that about that He's pushed us outside of our normal boundaries. And personally, I think that that is a really great thing. What do you think, Jenna? I love the fact that we can do new and different things for people who we normally wouldn't uh, be connecting with. And it, But talking about connecting, thanks, guys, for giving us the opportunity yes. to connect with you. We've been excited about it ever since the invitation came. Mm. We've had to learn some new technology, <laughs> which is always a challenge, mm. but interesting. But have a fabulous time as you watch the rest of the the service today and we look forward to seeing you and hugging you whenever we can. Absolutely. Bye for now. Bye See bye. You. Love you lots. Bye.